Hello, hello class. Okay, so um, yesterday we had a really good um, go at writing our first um, chapter for our book Wonder. And we did a really good job of that. And you can see on the board that I'm just, um, I've just got the version that I wrote. Um, obviously yesterday I did ask you to change key bits, which we'll go through in a second. But I just want to read this with you like I would do in school if it was on the watching line, just to refresh your memory. So, um, I know I'm not an ordinary kid. I mean, sure, I do ordinary things. I play on my scooter, I eat jumble teas, I play on my Xbox. So I'm ordinary, I guess. I feel ordinary, but ordinary kids don't, didn't, uh, sorry, don't get stared at wherever they go. If I found a magic lamp and I could have one wish, I would wish that I had two legs and that no one ever noticed at all. I would wish that I could walk down the street like normal children without everyone just staring at me. Here's what I think. The only reason I'm not ordinary is because no one else sees me that way. I've gotten pretty good at pretending I don't see people's faces, though. We've all got pretty good at that sort of thing. Me, Mum, Dad and Lola. My name's Toby, by the way. I won't go into detail about my leg, but whatever you're thinking, it's probably worse. So yesterday you wrote your first chapter, um, which, like we said, it might be a couple of um, paragraphs, and then you were asked to change keywords and phrases. So today we've done exactly the same thing. Um, I've written it on here. Um, however, there are um, things that I would like you to change. Use word hippo to think of different vocabulary and that sort of stuff. So our objective today is to blend dialogue description and action. And it's a little bit hard because there isn't actually that much dialogue in this section. Um, we have done lessons in the past about punctuating dialogue. So we don't need to worry about that too much because as you can see, it's here with inverted commas, capital letters, punctuation, and then closing the inverted commas again. So just remember that that's what you need to do. So um, you can see then that I'll read along this with you. And then there's little bits on the next slide that I'd like you to change. So I'll go through that in a second. Um, so we finished talking about, where did we go? We finished talking about his leg, okay? Anyway, enough about me and the way I look. My parents have decided that it's time for me to start school. It's fine. I mean, I'm not really bothered, but I just think other kids will call me a freak. We're going for a tour around Beecher Prep today, so I guess I'll be able to tell the, um, tell the weather... That's not going to say. Tell whether I'll like it or not. Um, don't forget, it's quite informal, so we've got a lot of um, contractions. It's, I'm, we're, okay? Um, when we get um, to when we got to the school, the head teacher introduced himself and told me that he knew this school would be good for me. How does he know? I mean, he's never even seen me before. This is Harry. Harry is going to give you a quick tour whilst I chat with your parents. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. I'll see you soon then, Mum. So that's the head teacher. I'm not going to say the head teacher said because I've just had a bit of a discussion about the head teacher. Um, and then this is my reply as um, Toby. I didn't really know what else to say. I wasn't sure though. I didn't want a stupid tour. After about a week at Beecher Prep, I was actually getting really settled and had made more friends had. They were Harry's friends, but they were pretty nice to me too. Um, so you can see there that all I've done is really quickly and in, like I say, one big chunk of a paragraph, I've tried to blend my um, dialogue, description and action. There isn't all that much description, but that will come later anyway, so don't worry about that. Um, I've used really informal vocabulary and I've talked about the school, I've included the dialogue and then I've talked about after a week I've settled in. It's really important when we look back at our plan here, it talks about he starts school and make lots of friends. So that's where I need to make sure that I am ending up to here. After about a week, I was actually getting really settled and had made more friends. So make sure you do that. You can then see that I've underlined sections and phrases and dialogue that I would like you to actually change yourself. That's just because there is no point in me writing it on the board and you just copying it all. However, there is a point in me writing it on the board and you magpieing ideas to help. Okay, So you can see that I've just changed this bit because instead of saying it's fine, I'm not really bothered, you could change it to a different sort of wording. Same with here, will, uh, the kids will call me a freak. What other words might they call him? Okay, obviously you're changing the name of your school. It might be herself, not himself. I also want you to have a different adverb starter here. When we got to the school. So you might say when we arrived in the school or upon arrival, um, something like that. Okay, 
But as I looked around the um, large building, something, you know, so you can change it. Uh, same with all of this. Your dialogue is going to be different depending on what your characters are going to say. Um, and then this is another adverb starter that I want you to change after about a week at Beecher Prep. So um, you could say, within a month of starting school, I was actually getting, or you could say, um, I'd made a few friends at Beecher Prep. I was actually getting really settled, yeah? So it's completely up to you, but those are the things that I do want you to change today. Um, I hope that the writing is just as good today as it was yesterday. Remember, I don't want these going in the book. Some children have said that their books haven't arrived yet. Please don't worry. So that's why I'm telling you not to write in your books, because I don't want you to all be at different stages. Keep this written in on a piece of paper or in your school um, book that we gave you three months ago. Do the writing in there, and then next week, once everybody's books have been delivered, the handmade books, that's when we're then actually going to start writing it up, okay? So don't worry about doing that now. All right. And um, so I look forward to reading chapter two. Enjoy.